r cos theta equals to x over r and 10 theta equals to y over r. Then we have a special angle for sine 30. Then we're going to get this side here because when you say sine 30 is going to be 1 over 2. This is the same as like you are saying is y over r. So where there is r, we're going to substitute with 2 and where there is y, we're going to substitute with 1. Then you're going to use a Pythagoras formula which state that r squared equals to x squared plus y squared. Then when we substitute the value for r, it's going to be 2 squared, whereby you're going to get 4. And then when you substitute the value for y, x is just x squared plus then y value is going to be y squared, where it's going to be 1. Then you can take this one the other side. When you take the one the other side, if it's positive, it changes the sign to be negative. Then you're going to have 4 minus 1 equals 2 x squared. So then we can apply the square root both sides so that we can have x only, which is equals to plus or minus square root, but we're going to take the positive square root of 3. Then which means your x now is what is equals to square root of 3. So now when you have known this, you, you can be able to get, let's say if you want to get cos, if you want to get cos of 30, cos of 30 degrees is going to be equals to adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent is what is square root of 3 divided by 2. So which means cos 30 equals to square root of 3 over 2. If I want to get 10 of theta, 10 of 30 degrees, 10 of 30 degrees equals to opposite over high, opposite of adjacent, which is going to be 1 over square root of 3. 1 over square root of 3. Same, if you want to get a 1 over square root of 3, so now when you, you see how we manage to get a what sine 30, cos 30 using the special angles. So there is another one for 60 degrees. Ne? For 60 degrees, if you use your calculator, sine six, uh, cos of 60, let's sorry, sorry, here, yeah, let's write 60. Cos, cos of 60 degrees, cos of 60, 60 degrees is equals to what? Equals to 1 over 2. Cos of 60 degrees equals to 1 over 2. You must remember this. You must always even memorize this until when, until even grade 12 or even when you go to university, it does not change because 60 is always going to be 1 over 2. This 1 over 2, remember, cos is what? It adjacent over hypotenuse, which is R. So, which means if we have to write this adjacent, it's what? It's going to be 1 over hypotenuse is going to be 2. And then which means y value, we don't know. If you don't know y value, you can use the Pythagoras method, your r squared, which is equals to x squared plus y squared. So now when we substitute back in this equation, r squared is still going to be 4, my equals to what? x, we do know that is 1 now, plus y squared. So this one, our y squared, if you take one the other side is going to be minus one four minus one is going to give us three né? then you can substitute we can make a square root we can say square root both sides then your y is going to be equals to square root of what three so which means here now our y is going to be equals to square root of three so now if i can say sign sign of 60 degrees sign 60 degrees sign 60 degrees is going to be opposite over hypotenuse is y over r. So when it's y over r, which means we're going to be able to say is square root of 3 divided by 2. If you have to say sine cos of 60, cos of 60 already we've done it is 1 over 2, which I can just write as is 1 over 2. And then 10 of 60 degrees is the same as opposite over adjacent. Opposite is square root of 3 over adjacent is 1, which can give us square root of 3. So that's 10, 60. So now you know how to, if you are using a special angles, how to get the value of sine 60 and cos of 60. So now let's take it to another level. I'm going to erase this side. So you have, um, so now we, you know about the, what, the sign, 
the reciprocal, we have a sine theta. I'm going to use theta for now. And we have cos of theta and 10 of theta. So just because I'm using theta, it does not mean that every question must be on terms of theta. Sometimes a question can say sine x, ne? or even sine, they can even say sine x cos what? Cos x. They can even say cos 10, not cos 10 x. Ne? Sometimes they can even use b. So don't expect that every time they are going to use theta or x. Sometimes they can use in, even use b, or sometimes they can even use z. It depends on the question. So, but these things that they still remain the same. So we, we have something called a reciprocal. 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 So reciprocal, when we talk about reciprocal of sine, sine theta, it's the same as one over sine the reciprocal of sine theta is one over sine theta and one over sine theta is equals to cosec cosec theta so cosec theta is the reciprocal of sine theta and we also have one over cos theta and the reciprocal of one over cos theta is sec sec theta so the sec theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. We also have 1 over 10, 10 theta. So the reciprocal of 10 theta is the same as cot, cot theta. So cot theta is the reciprocal of 10 theta. So if I am asked, if the question asks you to find the cot, let's say they say find uh, the value of Cosec, cosec 30 degrees. So what you must know, you must remember that cosec 30 is the same as 1 over sine of what 30 degrees. And this is the same as 1 over your sine 30 degrees. When you use the special angles, you know that if you use your special angle for sine 30, you just write like this, you say sine 30, you know that is 1 over 2, and here is square root of 3. So you will say it's 1 over 2. So 1 over 2, in mathematics, you can rewrite it so that you can, many students, they make mistake when they find, when they have this. So in order for you not to make a mistake, you write 1 first. You say divide by, this means divide by, you use this divide by, you say divide by 1 over 2. After that, when you say 1 divided by 1 over 2, this is the same as 1. You multiply. If you use multiply, this 2 is going to go on top and the 1 will go on to this side. You swap these values. Then you're going to be 2 over 1, which your answer is going to be what? It's going to be 2. So which means cosec 30 equals to what? Equals to 2. So if, let's say, I want you to find me the value of the way I'm using this method, I want to find you me. I want you to find me the value of cot, cot of sixty degrees. Can you find it? Can you find it for me? Oh, you're not back. I can't hear. You. Hello. Uh, network is bad. Your network is bad. <laughs> No, yours. No, my network it can't be bad. I'm in town and I don't have load shading. I didn't hear what you said on um, one over one over two. One over two. Okay, let me repeat again. Can you see what I'm doing here? Ne? Yes. The first one here, the question I showed you about the reciprocal. Did you hear about the reciprocal? Yes. That one over sine theta equals to cos sec theta, yes. and one over cos theta equals to sec theta. Ne? And then when we go here, yes. I also show you that one over ten theta equals to cos theta. Ne? Then yes. I showed you now. This is an example that I was working. I say, okay, if the question asks you to find cos sec thirty degrees, ne? the first thing that you do. 
you're going to write what you're going to say cosec 30 is the same as equals to what one over than theta whether the theta you substitute it with 30 degrees going to be one over sine 30 degrees when it's one over than 30 degrees you know that according to the special angles which is this one here yes here is 30 you write 30 you know that Special angle for 30 is 1. You must always remember it. Ne? 2 and square root of what? Of 3. Ne? Then you will say, okay, it's going to be 1 over. What is sin 30? When we say sin 30, sin 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. It's 1 over 2. That's why this is the 1. It's 1 over 1 over 2. You see that? So 1 over 1 over 2. I showed you here that, okay, you can be equals to, you can take first this 1. Ne? You say 1 divide by 1 over 2. This statement is still the same as this one. Then after that, you can say equals to 1. You multiply by, when you use a multiplication, these two signs, they change. You swap them. The 2 goes on top and the 1 goes down. So that's why I have 2 over 1. Then 1 multiplied by 2 over 1 is the same as what? 2, because this statement is the same as 1 times 2. Because 2 divided by 1 is 2. So that's why the answer we got two. So when you get the answer two, remember this is the same as what cos sec 80 degrees equals to two. So this is your final answer. So let me show you when I'm working with this one. The first thing that I'm going to do in order for me to find this, I'm going to say is one over 10, 10 of what? 10 of 60 degrees. Ne? So when I say it's one over 10, 50 degrees, I will draw my special angle my special angle for 60, 60 degrees. I know that is going to be 1 over 2, and here is going to be square root of 3. So now I'm going to say this is equals to 1 over 1060 is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse is 1 divided by is square root of 3 divided by 1. Square root of 3 divided by 1 is just the same as square root of 3. You see that? Then the answer here is going to just remain as 1 over square root of 3. So this means that cot 30 cot 60 equals to 1 over square root of 3 is. So now I want you to do for me cos, not cos, sec 80 degrees is using the same method. So after that you can, if, if you have a book close to you, because you have the book close to you, just a just do what, just write it down, then you tell me the answer. Just respond it, just write it down. So you're going to tell me when you are done with your, yes, when you are done, just let me know. So remember, first of all, to do what? To draw the oh. what? To draw the special angles, the one you are using. And you must always remember that uh, you must memorize or make sure that you remember that when you are working with 30, how do you draw your triangle for 30 degrees? And then how do you draw your triangle for 60 degrees? Because those special angles, you're going to use them every day when you are dealing with a trigonometry from grade 11 and 12, and then also even at university level. So just remember that. And But the more you are practicing, the more you're going to find that you won't need to draw them anymore because you will be knowing the values. So I'm giving you one minute. You're supposed to be done by now.
right what is your answer so far and then also to those who are watching this video please you can also work it out okay what is your answer it's two or three you got three no. all right okay you got you say you got what two or three equals to you got two square root no Two root three. Two what? Two and square root three. Two square root of three like this. Yes. All right, no problem. Let's verify if your answer is right. So sec thirty degrees is equals to one over cos thirty degrees according to your special angles you know that cos of 30 you know that cos of 30 is one of course 30 is this one this is the special yeah this is two here is square root of three then this is the same as one over Cos 30 is going to be adjacent of hypotenuse is going to be square root of 3 over 2. Then when you work it out, it's the same as 1 divided by, if you using this method, over 2. This is the same as 1 multiplied by 2 over square root of 3. Then your answer becomes 2 over square root of 3. But you said your answer is 2 square root of 3, which is wrong, you see. So if you follow this simple method that I'm showing you, you just write exactly the way I'm writing. Eh? You won't have a problem. You will get the right answers. So if did you do exactly these steps? No. Mm, yes, so try to follow exactly the steps that I'm teaching you so that you can get the right answers. So now we also have another one. I'm going to give you another special anchor because I want to give you more exercises. The other special angle that we have here, we have the special angle when it's 45. 45 degrees. So when it's 45, you use tan. 1045 is very simple. 1045 equals to 1. Né? This implies that is 1 over 1. Né? So 1045 is opposite over adjacent. It's y over x, which means 1 over 1. So which means according to Pythagoras, our r squared, which is equals to x squared plus y squared, is the same as equals to r squared, which is equals to 1 squared plus 1 squared, squared, which is equals to 1 plus 1, and this is equals to 2. So if our r squared equals to 2, then we can square root both sides. We can square root both sides. Then we're going to have r equals to what? Equals to square root of 2. So this means this side here, we're going to write square root of 2. So now if I want to find sine of 45, my sine 45 degrees is the same as opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over. 2 square root of 2 and my cos 45 degrees is the same as adjacent of a hypotenuse which is cos 1 over square root of 2 so now if i i got a question whereby i have to find sec 45 degrees then this is going to be equals to 1 over cos 
degrees. Ne? So 1 over cos 45 degrees, if I check in my triangle here, is going to be equal to what? 45 degrees, cos 45 is adjacent over hypotenuse, which means going to be 1, is going to be 1 over square root of 2. 1 over square root of 2, according to the simple way of writing, the first thing so that we don't make mistakes is write 1 over 1 divided by square root of 2, and this is the same as 1 multiplied by square root of 2 over 1. Square root of 2 over 1 is the same as 1, 1 multiplied by square root of 2, which is the same as square root of 2. So sine 45, sec 45 degrees equals to square root of 2. So this is how I worked it out. So the same process that I'm using, the same method that I'm using to work out sec 45, you can use it to work out cosec, try cosec. 45 degrees. So what cosec, you are going to do cosec 45 degrees. Then when you are done, tell me well, what did you get? Okay, which means also those who are listening to this video, you can also try to do cos, uh, cos sec 45 degrees. This video is meant for grade 11 students. So I'm giving you two, one minute or two, one comma five minutes to finish it. Are you done? Hello? Yes. Okay, what is, let's go back and check. What is your answer? It's root two. Root 
square root of two, ne? okay? And then that's all. Mm. Okay, let's see it. This is going to be one over cosine, one over sine of 45. Sine of 45 degrees, which is the same as one over sine 45. We know that is going to be opposite of hypotenuse is going to be one over square root of two. So this is the same as this one for cosec. So obviously speaking, which means the answer is going to be square root of two. So you got it right now. So I'm going to give you so some exercises on what we are. I'm going to give you some exercises based on what this, what we are doing now. So remember, you can be asked to prove. Okay? We are still going to do with the proof. So, but for now, I'll just give you a simple one with this exercise. So if you are, you can be asked to, hello? Can you repeat uh, at the beginning? Yeah. Okay, I mean like you can be asked maybe for a question. Get, they can say, give use like this. They can say, uh, simplify or uh, uh, simplify. For example, they gave you sign 16 eh? degrees eight. plus what? Plus cos, let me say cos 8 degrees. So in order for you to answer this, you must know the special angles. Sign 60, you know that is going to be, when you are working with the special angle, it's going to be what? It's going to be square root of 3. You, you draw. Now I'm no longer going to be drawing. For you, you must draw. It's going to be square root of 3 over 2. You, and then cos 30 also is going to be what? Square root of 3 over what? Over 2. Ne? So when we simplify this, because this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So the denominator, they are the same. We get the lowest common multiple, lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple of 2 and 2 is 2. And you're going to write 2 here. Then you say how many times does 2 goes to 2? It goes 1. Then it's going to be 1 times square root of 3. Square root of 3 is going to be 3. You say plus. Plus is this sign here. Then square root of 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3. Square root of 3, then it's going to be square root of 3. Then the answer is going to be 2 square root of 3 because both is square root of 3 plus square root of 3. Then it's going to be 1 plus 1 is 2 square root of 3 over 2. Then this 2 will cancel with this one. Then you're going to remain with square root of what? Square root of 3. So I'm going to give you this kind of questions. Some I can give you something like maybe cause... 45 plus or even minus plus or minus I can say 10 16 depending on how I'm going to construct them then you will have to find the value of you have to simplify so just wait for me then I'm going to give you then when you are done you must take a picture and send it to me then I'm going to mark them so for today we're going to end here ne? there is something that I want to do then maybe if you have time later, we can have another one hour, then we continue. Then just give me a few minutes. I'm going to send you the questions that you must do. Okay. All right. Do you have any questions so far? Yes, this method is... Which one? Can you send me uh, this? The video? Yes. Yes, I'm gonna send you the video. Which method do you do say is where do where is it where where is it that you don't understand? Where, yeah, uh, uh, you see one over cos forty five. One over cos. You mean this one here? No, the second one. This one of one over. This one. Where this one? Go up. Oh, okay. You must tell me to stop. Um, this is the last one here. Yeah, yeah you, you see where you, you draw in a second? Yeah. Uh, no, down. Uh, yeah. This one, of course, 45. It equals to 1 uh, over 1 over square root 2. 1 over 1. Oh, you mean here, ne? Yes. Okay, here, yeah, remember, when we say... What, okay, let me erase some. I'm gonna erase here. When remember one over, remember sec. Sec. I'm gonna show you with sec. Eh? Sec mm -hmm. of theta is equals to one 
over. Cos. Theta, ne? So now when it's one over cos theta, if I'm writing, if I have to find sec, 60 degrees, ne? This is going to be one over what? One over cos what? Cos 60. You see, you see that, you understand this part. So now, based on the, based on the what? On the triangle, uh, special angle is cos 60. This special angle, it says, is going to be two here, and two one is going to be one here, two there, and the square root of three. Ne? Cos 60 is opposite adjacent of hypothesis one over two. Then instead we're going to write this one first. Ne? Gonna be one. Cos 60, we know that cos 60 equals to what? One over two. Ne? Then when there is cos 60 here, we're going to substitute with one over two. Then I will write one over two. Do you understand it now? Yes. Then when I write one over two, then after this one now, I can simplify. So when I simplify, I showed you that, okay, to make it not to make a mistake, you're going to first write this one like this way, the way people know how to, the way normally, the normal way that we write. You're going to first write this one, you're going to say one is this one, eh? divide by, this divide is this line here. Eh? This line means divide by one over two you see one over two this everything there then this one in terms of maths in some previous grade that you were they told you that when you have something like this you can you can change the sign to multiplication but you swap these two when you swap this is going to be two over one so when you swap two over one this is going to be like one multiplied by two which is going to be two yes So that's how you do it. So this 60, when we say cos 60 equals to 1 over 2, we replace cos 60 with this value here, 1 over 2. Yes. yes. So that's how it works. Any question? This topic, what is the name of this topic? You mean what we are doing today? Yes. This one here, I'm teaching you about the special angle, the way you have said it. No, I said numer numerical reductions with special angles. The one that says maybe four turn. OK, just take me a picture of what you are talking about. Then I'm yes. going to check it is. But you must know this because this is a great tense work. OK, mm. if you need to know in mathematics, you must know this. So I'm assuming like even if I'm teaching you now, you, are, you must be able to do what I'm doing. So, but just take a picture on, on about what we're talking about so that because your pronunciation, I'm not able to understand exactly which when you say numerical, numerical is a, like you are speaking about university topics. So just take a picture for me, then I'm going to know what you're talking about. Any question? No. I'm All right, then I'm going to wait for your picture. On the base on the chapter of, the, of your book, there. Yes. All right. You can.